that um, Shalish Bar is northwest Kansas. Yeah. It's got top third. Right. The road, you know, yes, the a lot of people there. Peterborough as well. Mm. And South Petersburg. Mm. Shalish's seat is a very difficult seat because it doesn't really have a focus. Yeah. Um, obviously. <laughs> Hello, I'm Daryl Preston, Candidate Conservative Police and Crime Commissioner for elections in next May here in Cambridgeshire. I'm here today in Huntingdon with the MP Jonathan Jangley uh, for Huntingdon District. Morning Jonathan. I wonder if you could tell me just a little bit about some of the concerns that residents here in Huntingdon and the surrounding areas bring to you in relation to law and order and policing. Yeah, so here we are in a market square in my constituency. I should say it's Huntingdon, St Neots and St Ives, so yeah. uh, three market towns, and not forgetting God Manchester, so Absolutely, four technically. Yeah. Um, and the, the issues that we face across the market towns are, are similar. Uh, theft, um, particularly petty theft from shops, um, robbery from people's homes to some degree, although in recent times that has fallen, it's been good to see. Drugs, county lines, drugs offences particularly, uh, and I think, uh, as with the rest of the country, there has been an upswing of drugs offences uh, locally. Um, and it's been good to see the police cracking down on it also over yeah. recent weeks. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and then rural types of issues, uh, hair coursing, uh, theft from uh, um, farmers' properties. Um, and, and, and then, of course, the normal sort of market town types of issues of... Um, licensing issues um, uh, and disorder in the market town on Friday nights, uh, yeah. the sorts of things people, yeah. people would know about. Um, but that actually cumulatively can upset people's lives if they're not uh, contained. Yeah, no, and certainly when I've been speaking to residents across Cambridgeshire and Peterborough, and I've spent some time here, not least of which I worked for many years at the police headquarters just up the road here. So it's an area I do know well. Uh, but the one thing I keep hearing time and time again is that we want to see more police officers, right. more visibility of our police on our streets, towns, cities, villages, and in our rural areas. And certainly, if I were to be elected, uh, my police and crime plan and the priorities within that plan would absolutely focus on those concerns of residents, yeah. uh, our rural communities and in our towns, and touching on some of those issues that you talked about there. Uh, for example, drugs and county lines. Uh, this is an issue I know very well from my time in policing and absolutely needs to be cracked down on because that sort of organised criminality manifests itself in our communities as petty crime. But those at the receiving end of petty crime are often really upset and concerned yeah. about it. But what I do want to say, and I think this is probably the most important thing, is that we need more police officers. Yeah. Uh, and we're fortunate that with a Conservative administration here in Cambridgeshire Constabulary, we have seen in the past three years around 185 extra police officers, yeah. which is good. But I um, think Absolutely, to, to increase the numbers of police over the last few years has been a great achievement. Yeah, indeed, and, and some other forces have failed. And yeah. a local achievement. Yes. Um, um, of course, on top of that, we now have the 60 extra police promised for the county by national government and uh, I think we may see even more yet and I can tell you Daryl that in an area like this people do want to see police out on the streets, they do want to see a visible presence um, and I think those six extra police are going to make a big difference. I, I think they absolutely will but I think we can do better and I think we can do more and I would like to be setting a target for the chief constable that if I was elected that over the next three years, we'd want to see 200 more police officers. Great. Now, given that the government has committed to 20,000 police officers nationally, we can expect, and we would expect, our fair share here in Cambridgeshire and Peterborough. More police officers across our county, including here in Huntingdon. Reducing crime and keeping us all safe in our communities. Well, that's really good to hear. Okay. Thanks very much for talking to me My today. My pleasure.